Hello dear students today we will continue the story of village palampur it seems that the village palampur is a developed village because we can see the modern transport vehicles are running on all weather road which is connected by nearby village raiganj and the town shahapur Palampur is a developed village we can see the electrification in the village and due to that the farmers are irrigating their farmland with the help of tube wells Palampur having 400 families 450 families many of them are dependent on farming activities in Palampur there is 200 hectares of cultivable land which is 100% irrigated irrigated land so the welfare of the farmers directly depend on the food grain production and for getting the food grain production the farmers of the palampur opted multiple cropping system and modern farming methods there is no risk of multiple cropping system because it does not adversely affect the health of soil as well as it does not affect the ground water table but on the other hand the modern farming method is giving the increased food grain production but at the cost of decreased soil health and decreased ground water level actually there are the natural nutrients found in the soil that is very essential for the growth of the plants these are in the form of nitrogen phosphorus and the potassium but these are manufactured synthetically in the factories from the inorganic material and applied to the soil in the form of chemical fertilizer this chemical fertilizer affects in the many ways number first ground water pollution actually we regularly use the chemical fertilizer cause the pollution of ground water sources chemical fertilizer are highly soluble that's why they get absorbed by the ground water more rapidly than naturally plants have the capacity to absorb only a certain level of the nutrients hence the rest of the fertilizer is to leach and leaching is not only hazardous to the ground water but also the health of the soil and then this chemical react with the clay to create hard layers of the soil and hardens of the soil create it infertile so dear students in that manner it affects the health of the soil again it also destruct it also do the destruction of microorganisms actually the synthetic chemicals in the chemical fertilizer adversely affects the health of naturally found soil microorganisms by affecting the soil ph level actually the ph level is the acidity level of the soil these fertilizers change the the second way in which this chemical fertilizer is affecting the health of the soil that is what destruction of microorganisms the synthetic chemical in the chemical fertilizer adversely affects the health of naturally found soil microorganisms by affecting the soil ph level ph level is the acidity level of the soil these fertilizer change the acidity level of soil and eliminate the microorganisms these microorganisms are beneficial to plant and soil they help to increase the plant's natural defense system against pests and diseases so it gives the rise it gives the need to apply pesticide it also adversely affect the soil health further in modern farming we need more water for irrigation to germinate high yield variety seed and to absorb this chemical fertilizer so we do the over pumping of ground water ground water is the water which seeps into the ground and gets collected that is what the saturated water this ground water can be obtained by drilling or digging the wells or by pumping so dear students i want to give you some facts regarding the water available on this earth on our earth 97% of the water in the form of oceans 
and the remaining 3% in the form of frozen glaciers, 22% in the form of groundwater and 1% in the form of the lakes. जितना भी बच रहा है 97% के बाद 3% जो टोटल वाटर बचता है उस 3% का 77% ग्लेशियर्स के फॉर्म में है 22% ग्राउंड वाटर के फॉर्म में है और 1% यहां पर रिवर्स और लेक्स के फॉर्म में है सो द ओवर पंपिंग ऑफ द ग्राउंड वाटर रिड्यूस द लेवल ऑफ ग्राउंड वाटर एंड इट इज कॉल्ड द डेप्लेशन ऑफ वाटर टेबल हमारे जमीन के अंदर 100 फीट 200 फीट के बाद जब हम माइन डिगिंग करते हैं वी गेट द वाटर एंड दैट इज फ्रॉम द वाटर टेबल बट इफ यू विल पंप आउट मोर ऑफ द वाटर आवर वाटर टेबल विल बी डिस्टर्ब इट इज व्हाट द डिप्लेशन ऑफ वाटर टेबल हैंस डियर स्टूडेंट्स एनवायरमेंटल रिसोर्सेस लाइक द सॉइल फर्टिलिटी एंड द ग्राउंड वाटर लेवल आर बिल्ट अप ओवर द ईयर्स कई सालों में हम ये कुछ मिलता है सॉइल की फर्टिलिटी और ये ग्राउंड वाटर टेबल सो वंस दे डिस्ट्रॉयड इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रिस्टोर दैम we must take care of the environmental we must take care of the environment to ensure the future development of agriculture hame in sab factors ka dhyan mein rakhte hue hi apna agricultural activities karna chahiye otherwise the future agricultural development process will suffer